This is it, this year. Where have you been all this while? Andy here, we are the master distributor for Pneumatic in Malaysia. This is the first impression video of me using the Henry Quick for a week, mainly inside my office and there is one which I think is a game-changing feature which most of the stick vet will follow suits. More on that later. The demo unit we got here is a UK spec Henry Quick. We got, of course, the UK 3 pins charger and it came with 26 free parts. Different region is being spec differently. As far as I know, UK spec has the most free parts. I think it's due to the manufacturer volume is there. Of course, in Malaysia, we will be getting UK spec as well, which packed with 26 parts because of that. The packaging is larger than the rest of the region that only gets six parts in the box. Pneumatic claims that six parts would able to last you for a year mini because of the one liter capacity, which I definitely will test and find out and see how it plays out. Inside the box, there's one crevice tool, two in one compi tool for detailed cleaning. One comfort handle that is ergonomically designed. For me, it looks like an extension kit. One detachable lithium iron battery, which is a nice touch. I'll get into that later. 26 filter pots, again, subject to your region. In this case, region with three pins plugged up only for now. A center capsule and makes the air smell fresh. And a water for the Henry Quick accessory kits and wire cable. One floor nozzle with brush and LED light, more on that later and 60 cm or 2 feet extension tube. 1 liter capacity for the dust chamber and it weighed 3.1 kilo all in. All right, out of the box, I jump straight into assemble all of them without looking at the instructions manual. I do this because I want to see how intuitive of the design of the products. I do that to most of the products actually because I think a well-designed product can operate without having a manual just like this thing here. Hello. After everything is attached, the first thing I notice is the weight of it. I assume it would be a challenge if vacuum anything over the head for a long period of time. But for floor and or carpet, it makes sense if you rest your hand while using it. What do I mean by that? The weight of this Henry Quick can be transferred to the ground thanks to the floor nozzle with electronic brush. Meaning, while I was operating, I used the movement of pushing and pulling instead of lifting. That kind of like transfer the mass weight to the ground. All this, I will need more time to test it out. Make sure you subscribe and wait for my next in-depth review. And comment below and let me know what are the things that you would like to know more or any question at all. I will answer them in the comment section or in my next in-depth review. There are three buttons. On-off button, boost or max power button, electronic brush button, and two indicator lights. The top indicator is for the battery and the bottom indicator is for the pods. When this light turn on means it's either the pot is full or something is being blocked or stuck in the vacuum system. Installing the battery and detach the battery is very easy. Now because it is detachable and the battery can be charged directly using the charger, that makes this Henry Quick very capable. So if you are thinking about getting another battery so that you can work back to back, that is possible. The box says 60 minutes runtime and max out runtime is 14 minutes. We will definitely run few tests on the runtime like normal mode normal mode with brush on or boost mode, max boost mode with brush turn on and of course endurance test and see how many battery it can withstand, like does it get overheat or power cut. All that coming to you, make sure you subscribe. All right, fine, too many plugs, isn't it? On the get-go, the Henry Quick provide adequate suction power on the normal mode with electronic brush on and of course with boost mode, the suction power is superior with brush turn off and if I max it out, it just works like a wire vacuum cleaner maybe a bit better due to the electronic brush. The LED light on the floor nozzle would turn on when the electronic brush is being turned on. You can't turn on the light without activating the electronic brush. Sound level on the boost mode is a little bit loud. Since I don't own any Dyson or any proper stick web before, I'm not sure this is an industry standard. We'll definitely compare the sound level with the wire low wattage vacuum in the next in-depth Review. The floor nozzle looks solid with two wheels at the back to support the rolling while using. The brush can be easily detached to clear off dirt or hair that might get stuck on the brush. And the hose above the brush can be easily detached in the event anything stuck in between. All this can be done without any screwdriver or tools which is practical and well thought of. The capacity I think is one of the biggest in the market. It's one of the biggest while we are recording this. It is dust-free chamber, dust-free when vacuuming, and dust-free while emptying also. The pot itself acts as a filter for the dust. The dust-free chamber emptying, I think is the best part in the Henry Quick. Just toggle the lever and it will open up the cover and the pot can fall straight out from the chamber or without touching the dirty or contaminated pot. And you may be wondering, what about the pot inlet hole? When we pop the pot out, 
the inner hole must have leak out some dirt or dust, right? Now the pod itself come with a kind of like spring loaded flap. So when the vacuum is turned on, the flap will open up automatically, allow dust and dirt to go in. And if you close back immediately once the vacuum is being turned off, pneumatic cord is dust free MTA. The crevice tool is long and solid, able to reach narrow and deep spaces. And the two in one combo tool, I like that the most. Brush is solid, able to provide the zigzag vacuum effect, and vacuum small items become so much easier. Both the crevice and the two in one combo tools can be stored on the wall dock, which is neat. And the wall dock has a wire holder for the charging cable. It is a nice touch there. But just the wall dock, it doesn't come with any double side tape. You can either tape it up or screw into the wall. There are screw holes provided as well. While operating the vacuum cleaner, it smells like a new vacuum cleaner, but everything changed when I put in the scented capsule. It just smells fresh and clean the moment you turn it on, but not sure how long it will last. We'll definitely test it out. The power is using industry standard 24.2 watt. Despite it is an industry standard, I think pneumatic retains some magic on the floor nozzle itself, very much like the wire canister vacuum. Because generally, suction power comes from the design of the airflow in the floor nozzle, vacuum seals, the diameter of those tubes, and how, when, and where the vacuum airflow out. Not just the motor power itself. The charging time is four hours for the full charge. The charger is a 36 watt charger, would like to see if next version would come with a quick charge function, maybe USB-C charging. Using Henry Quinn on the boost mode, the suction power is just terrific. The performance is just really similar like their 620 watt wire vacuum cleaner. I see no difference in terms of the result. The only downside is probably short of runtime. But hey, it's Henry Quick. It's for quick clean. Pick up, clean it, and put it back. It's not for deep cleaning or spring cleaning throughout the house, although you totally can. Just have to stand by a few detachable batteries for it. This is all for the Henry Quick. This is a quick first impression video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification item. We will have a next video lining up for the in-depth review. And there are some new products coming in, like RSB 150 backpack vacuum, which, which is wired, and the RSB battery operated backpack vacuum cleaner that is using the NX battery platform. I'm looking forward to that. Also, we will have a full range of home care products coming in too, like the Signature Henry, Hattie, Henry Wash, Henry Allergy, and Henry Pet, all coming in real soon. That's been it. Comment below and let me know if you have any question or anything you want me to test it out. I will answer them in the comment section or in the next review video. Catch you in the next one. Take care.